Welcome to another mini trading tutorial from OptionsAtoZ.com, the website dedicated to teaching investors the art and science of options trading. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the advanced order menu in Thinkorswim. Thinkorswim is the option industry's most powerful software and it's available absolutely free just for opening an account. You can trade options, currencies, futures, and more all under the same account number. For more information, please visit www.thinkorswim.com. Before I go through the actual demonstration, it will help to clarify some of the specialized orders I'll be talking about. Thinkorswim offers a number of what are called triggered orders, which are simply conditional orders. This just means that if one order fills, then another action of some kind is taken. The orders are all tied together in some way. While Thinkorswim offers many variations, they are all created by using two main types of advanced orders. The first is called One Cancels Other, also called an OCO order, and the second is called a Sequence Order. Let's take a closer look at how these orders work, and then you'll understand the many variations in Thinkorswim. An OCO order allows you to send two or more orders at the same time. When one order fills, the other or others are canceled. It's important to understand that each order must be a limit order. And the reason is that market orders are guaranteed to fill. So you can't use market orders with the OCO condition. For example, assume you place an order to buy 100 shares of Microsoft for a limit of $25 OCO, and also place another order to buy 200 shares of Intel for $20 per share OCO. Here's the way it works. If the first order is filled, then the second order is canceled. On the other hand, if the second order is filled first, then the first order is canceled. OCO orders also work with multiple orders. For instance, assume you placed three orders with the OCO condition. If the second order fills, for example, then the other two are canceled. You get the idea, if any single order fills, the remaining orders are canceled. The important thing to understand about OCO orders is that only one order, if any, can be filled. However, there is one caveat. If your limit prices are all very close to current market prices, then it is possible to get multiple orders filled with OCO orders. The reason is that other orders may get filled during the few seconds it takes the computer to submit the request to cancel them. Be sure your limit prices are sufficiently far from current market prices in order to make the best use with OCO orders. Sequence orders work a little differently from OCOs. Assume you place the same three orders as on the previous screen, but this time mark them with the sequence condition. In this case, if the first order fills, then it activates the second order. And if that order is ever filled, then it in turn activates the next order on the list. And if that order ever becomes filled, it will in turn activate the next order on the list and so on down the line. The executions, if any, must occur in sequence down the list of orders. The first order must fill before the second, the second before the third, and so on. With sequence orders, it's possible that none of them get filled, and it's also possible that all orders will fill. Now that you understand OCO orders and sequence orders, let's take a look at how to use them along with some interesting variations in Thinkorswim. The advanced order menu appears anytime you create an order, which you'll normally start with the trade tab up here. For instance, if I want to place an order on Microsoft, I can do so by clicking on the asking price and down here in the lower left hand corner, you'll see the advanced order menu. Notice that it defaults to a single order. What this means is that if I place a separate order, let's say to sell shares of Intel, I click on the bid, you can see that it overrides the first order. It deleted it and replaced it with the second one. Is there a way to place both orders at once? The answer is yes, and to do so, we must use this advanced order menu. Let's click on this menu, and we can see the next item in the list is Blast All. If you select that, it allows you to send up to eight orders at once. 
Let's place an order to buy some shares of Microsoft. Let's also sell some shares of Dell Computer. And let's also place another order to buy some shares of RIM, Research in Motion. You can see now that all orders are stacking up down below. Although I've demonstrated with buy and sell orders, you can use any type of order. You can use stops, trailing stops, market on close, limit on close. Any type of order can be placed in the stack. Each of these orders is independent. I can change the number of shares independently on each line. I can mix market orders and limit orders, and I can make some good for the day and others good till canceled. Once I get the orders the way that I want, I click on confirm and send, and the order confirmation dialog box shows the four orders here, and it will send all of them at once just by clicking on this send key down here. However, let's cancel this order and see what else I can do. Let's go back to the advanced order menu and click on first triggers sequence. If I click that, let's see how it changes my orders. Now when I click on confirm and send, the order confirmation dialog box shows that if this first order is executed, it triggers the second order. And I know that by this TRG by number one here, that's just saying the second order is triggered by number one. If order number two executes, it will then in fact activate order number three. Right here it says on order number three, it is triggered by number two. And of course our fourth order down here is triggered by number three. So this is just a regular sequence order, first trigger sequence. If this first order fills, it triggers a sequence. First order must be filled, then the second, then the third, and so on down the line. Let's go back to the advanced order menu and see what the next one is on the list, and that is first triggers all. If I had selected that, we can go to confirm and send, and the order confirmation dialog box now shows that if the first order executes, orders two, three, and four will all be submitted. So instead of having the second order fill first, then the third, then the fourth, orders two, three, and four, this entire group down here, will be submitted if the first order executes. Notice that all of them are tagged with this triggered by number one. Let's go back to the advanced order menu, and we see that the next one on the list is first triggers OCO. If I had selected that instead and then clicked on confirm and send, the order confirmation shows something different. Notice that orders two, three, and four are now marked with the OCO condition. In this case, if the first order executes, then it submits orders two, three, and four with OCO. The first one of these three orders to fill triggers a cancellation of the remaining two. With this order, I should only get filled on a maximum of two orders. Remember, the first one must fill first, if at all, and if that fills, I will get one of the remaining three. The first of these three orders to fill triggers a request to cancel the remaining orders. Remember though, a request to cancel does not guarantee that the orders will in fact be canceled, so be sure to put your limits sufficiently away from current market prices. Finally, the last item in the advanced order menu is simply OCO. If you select that, click on confirm and send, the order confirmation shows that all orders, orders one, two, three, and four are now marked with OCO. This means that the first order to fill triggers a cancellation of the remaining orders. In this case, theoretically, I should only get filled on one, if any at all. Once I get the orders the way that I want, I just click on send down here, and there they are. You can see some fills coming in already. So using advanced orders is fast and easy in Thinkorswim, and these are great tools for legging into various strategies or morphing into new ones. Understanding these invaluable tools puts you one step closer to mastering the art and science of options trading. If you are interested in advanced training on Thinkorswim, please visit www.optionsa-z.com. I have a five-week Thinkorswim training class, I'll show you how to use the system, and more importantly, why you would select one type of order or process over another. A video recording of each class will be sent to you immediately following each session.
and you'll also get free updates whenever Thinkorswim makes changes to their system. I hope you've enjoyed the video and now understand the various types of orders in the Advanced Order menu.